Hi guys, Sam Evans here from The Electric Singularity. I'm here today to talk to you about Jim Cramer's prediction that Tesla stock will hit $1,000 by the end of this year. Now, I personally agree. In fact, I think it might even go higher than 1000 But I'm with Jim on this, and I like what he's saying. For those of you that don't know, Jim Cramer was a well-known bear on Tesla stock, and recently he has changed his mind. I'm sharing with you an article from Clean Technica from a couple of years ago. It says, one of Jim's favorite bits of advice is to stay away from battleground stocks. Those with vociferous bulls and bears, cult followings, and charismatic leaders. TSLA checks all the battleground boxes, but somehow it has now earned his respect. Never at a loss for words, Jim lists no less than 10 reasons that he changed his mind. Now, I'm not going to share all of those with you, but here are a few. In the first place, in first place is what any stock pundit would consider an unanswerable argument, earnings. Tesla is projected to learn five to earn five dollars per share in 2020 and ten dollars in 21. Obviously, we don't need to go into this, but Tesla's share-based earnings based on the value of the company are very low. Obviously, Tesla's value is not in what they're earning now. It's what they'll be earning in 10 years' time. Kramer goes on to list several positive recent developments with Tesla. As we've noted so many times here in the Evernext blog, the much-threatened competition from the legacy automakers simply has not materialized. Elon Musk, for, for whatever reason, has settled down. He's no longer teasing the SEC. He's no longer trashing the analysts, writes Kramer. He runs a good, thorough conference call, gives an occasional speech, and is otherwise, I never thought I would say this, not controversial. I agree. Elon has seemed to have grown up a bit lately and toned down some of his more brash comments. And that's only a positive development. The risk that Tesla would want to run out of capital, a clear and present danger just a few months ago, has receded. If you have earnings estimates, it's pretty easy to raise enough money to, or make, to make or do whatever you want, says Kramer. If Tesla is going to make even half of what the analysts say, it would be no problem to raise $5 billion at reasonable rates if needed, which subsequently they have done. Tesla's feat of building its Chinese gigafactory in 10 months did not go unnoticed by Kramer. As someone who has been involved, been involved in building even the smallest of factories, that's astounding, he says. That's better than Intel, which I always regarded as the single greatest manufacturer we have in this country. And they can't build them faster than 18 months, he writes. Intel had long been considered the gold standard when it came to greenfield factory build-outs. The recent spate of good news about Tesla's accomplishments as a company has certainly been impressive. However, as so many others have, Kramer seems to have truly seen the light after experiencing the vehicles personally. His daughter, a definitive non-car person who had never ever expressed even a whit of interest in a vehicle, drove up Tesla Model 3 from Oregon to San Francisco and called him in the middle of the trip to gush about the experience. She seems to have especially liked the the flatulence feature, or the farting noises that the car makes. Later, Jim Cramer himself drove a Model X. I have to admit, I love the whimsical nature and the handling. The gull wings were cool. They drive fantastic. The editors, editors note, they're actually falcon wing doors. What really sealed the deal, however, seems to have been the broken windows at the Cybertruck reveal. The company introduced the pickup truck, which I thought was ugly as all get out, and some actor threw a rock at its unbreakable window, and it cracked. In fact, it was senior design executive Franz von Holzhausen, who smashed the window. I figured, okay, so much for that. Then we see the demand, and it's off the charts. Charts, that stunned me. Reasonable people can disagree, and over the course of its existence, Tesla has provided skeptics with some good reasons to be skeptical. Jim Cramer has shown himself to be a pragmatic and open-minded analyst who isn't afraid to consider new information. He says, the facts changed, and I changed my mind too. He's right, and I respect Jim Cramer for that. The facts changed, and I changed my mind too. Now. I have a question to ask, and I ask myself this often. If you have an opinion and the facts change, are you able to change that opinion? Many people are not, so I really respect Jim for being able to do that. Guys, thank you for watching the video. I hope you've enjoyed it. And if you have, please leave a like or a comment. Or even better, subscribe to the channel, and that will really help us grow, and it will also help me to keep on producing content. Thank you for watching once again. I'll see you on the next one.